I'm incredibly honoured to win it, but I'm also slightly embarrassed because there are so many fantastic graduates of UNSW doing really uh, tremendous things for the world. And I feel like all I do is turn up to work each day and I'm supported by a fantastic group of people at the Reserve Bank. So I feel like I'm just turning up for work every day and doing my job. So I'm slightly embarrassed, but I'm very honoured. I mean, the, the core function of the Reserve Bank is to serve the public interest. So that's uh, incredibly important for me, to help get people, do what we can to get people into jobs, to make sure the inflation rate's not too high or too low, to keep the stability of the financial system um, um, in check, uh, to make sure that the, the government's banking accounts are operated kind of satisfactorily and people can get their social security payments when they need to, uh, that the core of the banking system's plumbing works well. So all these things, things the Reserve Bank do and they ultimately serve the public interest so that the 25 million people who are lucky enough to live in Australia can have a better standard of living and more security. Yep, I started here um, in 1980 and uh, went to university uh, at night time for two years, so three nights a week, Tuesdays, Wednesdays and Thursdays and I'd go and uh, work in at the Reserve Bank during the day. And I was fortunate enough to do well enough over those two years the Reserve Bank gave me a scholarship to finish my degree here. Well, I think it's fair to say I was a pretty diligent student. <laughs> I worked hard, I, I grew up in the country and then I came to uh, the university and I realised it was a great opportunity and my parents had always said, look, take, take advantage of every opportunity you have. My mother was a teacher, so she really valued education. So I knew I had a great opportunity moving the country, being able to come here and study and have a job at the Reserve Bank. So I was a pretty diligent student. I think the only time I was ever late to class is when the bus from the city was delayed. Uh, it was a clerical role on a calculator. The banks would send in forms where they would report the aggregate value of their foreign exchange transactions, so Australian dollar versus US dollar and pound. And so the banks would send those forms in and my job was to take the 20 forms and calculate an aggregate figure in each of the cells. So I'd uh, work on the calculator uh, every day. It was um, pretty uh, rudimentary and the calculator was one of those ones with a paper reel on it so you could see whether you had uh, punched in any wrong numbers because uh, if you had to type in 20 or 30 numbers there was a probability that you would make a mistake and so you're able to go back and check. So it wasn't particularly exciting and today that would all be done through technology. So those type of jobs just don't exist anymore. More exciting jobs exist. Well, as an organisation, we flourish on ideas. And I think you, the best environment for generation of ideas is where you've got people from different perspectives. So not just all men from one background, not women from all background, but just a diversity of people. And we've been able to build out the Reserve Bank. And I think if we've got different perspectives, then we're going to come up with better ideas and ultimately better policies. Well, I think the biggest challenge I've faced is over the past year dealing uh, with a global pandemic. Uh, so that's uh, been a very difficult uh, environment, to, not one that I expected to be in, but uh, you deal with the situation uh, you find yourself in. For me, dealing with challenges about keeping calm, going back to first principles and talking to people. And uh, beyond that, personally for me, keeping a regular exercise program is important. Uh, because the stresses of many um, professional jobs are, can be large, so you've got to keep your body in shape as well. So I try and exercise well, which helps. In a way, the stuff you learn at university is the easy part. The harder part is applying it in the real world. And when you're applying it in the real world, most of the time you're dealing with people, either in a team, you're a team member, or maybe you're leading a team, or maybe you're trying to build a team. So working with people is incredibly important. And I often feel that that's a skill that's not adequately developed and people don't spend enough time doing, doing that. And you can have this fantastic uh, academic knowledge, technical knowledge, but if you can't work with other people, you're not going to be as effective. So spend time on relationships, working with people, working out what makes other people work and how you can best work with other people.